Hey guys, welcome back to the Jones Zone. And today, I'm going to be uh, reading another article. Because there's a lot of talk going on, a lot of rumors uh, about the feds and the new digital currency that they're going to be rolling out here real soon. And uh, there's a lot of talk about, oh, uh, uh, paper currency is going to be replaced and you know, all this sort of thing. So, you know, I decided that I'm going to do a little bit of research and, and see what I can um, find out about uh, the issue. And um, this particular article here is titled, The Fed Now Program is Going to Replace Your Paper Currency. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into it here. It says here, no, the Fed Now service is not replacing cash. It's an instant payment system. The Fed Now service is an instant payment infrastructure developed by the Federal Reserve. It is set to launch in July. It will not replace paper currency. So this system, this new payment system that they're using, this new digital currency is not going to be replacing the U.S. dollar uh, at the moment. The Federal Reserve is considering a central bank digital currency, but has not implemented one. The Federal Reserve said that in the first week of April, it would start certifying participants ahead of the system's July launch. Will cash no longer be a mode of payment for your everyday transactions? One social media post warned this may be the case starting today. A man said in an April 2nd Facebook video, you'll also be able to tell your kids that you were there when they took away paper dollars and coins in favor of a U.S. digital currency. And you'll be correct because in fewer than 24 hours, the United States dollar changes forever. Tomorrow, the first week of April, the Federal Reserve begins the rollout of their new central bank digital U.S. dollar. That's right. It's called the FedNow Program. And it's going to replace your paper currency, not overnight, but it's moving in that direction, he said. The post was flagged as a part of Facebook's effort to combat false news and misinformation on its news feed. The FedNow service is an instant payment infrastructure developed by the Federal Reserve that will let businesses and individuals send and receive instant payments in real time around the clock every day of the year. FedNow was first announced in August 2019. It is not a central bank digital currency, and it is not replacing paper currency. Re-rated false, a similar claim, in September 2022, reporting that FedNow will now not require banks to turn over all physical currency. When we contacted the Federal Reserve, the press office directed PolitiFact to publicly available resources and offered no on-the-record response. The Federal Reserve Board website says Americans already hold money predominantly in digital form, such as in bank accounts and payment apps, but a central bank digital currency would differ in that it would be a liability of the Federal Reserve, not of a commercial. Although the Federal Reserve is considering a central bank digital currency, it is doing so as a means to expand safe payment options, not to reduce or replace them. The agency's online facts say, this means cash or paper currency would coexist with a central bank digital currency. On the same webpage, the central bank said it would seek the executive branch and congressional support, ideally in the form of a specific authorizing law, before issuing a central bank digital currency. President Joe Biden signed in March 2022 an executive order that directs the U.S. government to evaluate the feasibility of a potential central bank digital currency. The central bank's latest press release about FedNow, posted March 15th, said the service will start operating in July. During the first week of April, the Federal Reserve will start certifying participants and testing the system to prepare for the service's launch. The Federal Reserve said the system's first release will support transactions such as account-to-account -account transfers and bill pay. U.S. residents can still use the cash to pay for goods and services. We rate the claim that the FedNow program will replace your paper currency false. Okay, so we can look at the mark of the beast being carried out in three phases. Right now, we're between phase zero and phase one, which would be the planning stage. You know, they're talking about it, they're getting the blueprint ready, and they're laying the groundwork to get it rolled out. But honestly, we're pretty much already past that point. So uh, next would be uh, phase one, which would be implementation. Uh, the digital currency is ready. Banks are accepting it, and businesses are starting to take it. Uh, next uh, would, would then be phase two, 
This is where we see the proliferation of the digital currency, where it becomes widely accepted nationwide. It's kind of like how it was when uh, debit cards first rolled out in uh, the late 1970s. Uh, and now, nearly 50 years later, most people uh, know what a debit card is. Or, you know, they've used one at some point in time in their life. Okay. Uh, debit cards are very popular. A very common thing now. After proliferation would be phase three, which is the phasing out of the U.S. dollar. That is the physical currency. It will be completely phased out, and then you'll have to use digital currency to buy, sell, and trade. And once that happens, that will officially be the mark of the beast. And if you use this currency, especially after the banning of the U.S. dollar, then you've just taken the mark of the beast. And if you take the mark of the beast, then you're worshipping Satan, and that will get you sent to hell. So, it's important that, as a Christian, you don't take the mark of the beast, guys. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today, and I'm signing off.